I am disappoint. Hello, ladies, gents, and disappointing spawns of my loins. Your father has been exploring the Bellurat settlement, I think that's what it's called. And in such exploration, he has come across many, many places. I think the total is four paths that Butthole completely neglected. I forget exactly where these are at. But just so you know, that's what I'm doing in between episodes. I go in with your father and I basically scour every nook and cranny. That's one spot. That's one spot right here. You go down the stairs. Oh, where does this elevator come from? I never came across it with butthole. So let's explore all these nooks and crannies that I have discovered. <laughs> but first, there is a new soul to convert. I must Don't check it out. Us. Be quiet, be quiet, finger reading whore! We're going to see what the enraged divine beast is able to provide for us. Let's check this out. This seems like a talisman. and raises the potency of storms, which is the ashes of war, I guess. The, the bunch, maybe like five or six ashes of war that create storms. That can be pretty damn awesome in PvP. Not so much PvE, I mean, you use them and stuff, but I, uh, I'm i not terribly excited about it. And then, an Ash of War. Usable in all melee armaments. Every single one of them grants affinities and skill to an armament of cold a frost, frost stomp. I think I'm already set with my talismans. Uh, let's go with this Ash of War. And we're, we'll put in one of the new weapons that I've been finding. And uh, I'll make a decision on what to put it on right now. You know what, let's put it on the heavy beast claw and we can maybe swap back and forth to put on some frost and then attack as normal. That would be pretty neat, maybe. 104 frost buildup is pretty decent with something that attacks so fast. So let's uh, put that on. For now, I'm really fond. I'm surprised because I poo-pooed it the moment that I found it. The mole ninja air of <laughs> back gripping swords, but as I have been experimenting with the moveset, it's like, this is really fun weapons to wield. Anyway, I have marked all the little things that I've discovered, including a freaking cave that I completely overlooked. But for the time being, let's go first. Uh, let's go first to this one. I think that's the one that I, I saw. The first path that I have not followed. Either way, we're going to get to around to all of them. Another thing that I did was we I actually found the curse blade curse blade cirque or would that be a cirque? Either way, it is the same move set uh, ah, as the backhanded swords, but it is a dex weapon and it is a somber weapon, which means that it's not for butthole. Pretty cool though. What's your problem? What's your problem? You piece of trash. Let me just super spin, attack you the, your ass, but <laughs> do barely any damage with no HUD on because I completely forgot to re-enable it after getting that silly... Wow, that was uh, quite a lot of damage, huh? Incredible damage. Let me put on that those fro frost fists. Check me out. Ooh. Well, that certainly does. Uh, respectable pile of damage. That was 1,200. Well, it's kind of silly because you do lose the good Ash of War that this comes with, the very fast attack. But, you know, the fist weapons already attack pretty fast. So it's not like you need that Ash of War. You already have all these things going on. Either way, that's one of the paths. Is it? No, it's not. I marked it. Oh, I see what I marked. It's on the other side of this door. Oh, it opens that door, I see. Anyway, I'm gonna go find the first path that I missed. Another weapon that dropped is the dual-wielding weapon that the horned faces, face fellas carry. It is basically curved swords. And they're also somber weapons. They don't scale all that great with my stats. Another thing that I'm not excited about. Let's just go back. For now, we're going to use those frost fists until the novelty wears out and then I'll go back to my backhanded swords. Anyway, I opened this door because that is what the key was for. 
Let's go into this storage facility. Am I hearing? Am I hearing? Somebody whispering? Somebody out of breath? What is this, though? Oh, you're a person. I thought there would be a horrible attacker in the back rooms. But no, somebody just here just... Oh, jeez. Oh, you're having a bad time. Suffering from super AIDS? Oh, that's all you got, huh? Turns out the storage room is where they hide all the lepers. Look, I have one of these. I guess they are not in short supply. Everybody has a spare giant head of the wind god. Just in the, waiting in their shelves. Bruh, please. There has to be some worth. There has to be some worth to this door that I opened. What is the deal? I mean, it's like I have freed this fellow, right? Is that what is going on? Clearly, I'm not going to murder you. For you are some kind of NPC that I suppose we're going to find some time in the future. Maybe somebody will give me a bit of lore about this fella. Moving on to the next spot. Hopefully it will be slightly more interesting. Aha! I <laughs> it was a little bit of work, but I actually found the place where your father stopped his adventures. Let's see what's down here. We have uh, I've already kind of spoiled myself by realizing that it's the giant double doors. <laughs> but uh, actually, let's send this back up. You never know what may there may be underneath. Only a black pit of despair. Much like the hole in my chest. Anybody that looks in it will see that it's empty where the heart should be. Well, that was uh, an opening of a uh, shortcut, I suppose. I guess I should be happy about that. To note that the NPC that we have liberated... Horn sent Grandam, whatever the hell that means. All right, here's another marker. It is very easy to find. It is a path that I have no idea how the hell. Oh, that's right, there's an enemy here. Let me just quickly dispatch this fella with my incredible power. Oh, yeah, you have been frostbitten. Now we can swap. Not electrified, but even without the electrification, I mean, the frostbite does make it so that they take extra damage. I mean, it's cool and all, but probably we'll just revert it back to its former state. There's the next little bit of area that somehow I just never went down there. That is the thing. Like, I do my absolute darndest to encounter every path possible. And still I missed. I missed so much. I thought somebody was shooting at me from up here. They must be taught a lesson. Must have retribution. And it like it looks like a whole nother area that, that I simply completely ignored. So let's go in here, see what we find. More foolish prayers. Praying the grace of gold shall only death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. I am the new source of grace, buddy. I am the Lord of Chaos. Oh, you are a fire wielder. Ah! Whoa, that's a ton of damage. That's a lot of damage. Jeez. <laughs> Don't kill me. Don't kill me, bud. All right. We need to properly treat you as the source of all my troubles. Ow. That is an insane pile of damage on that attack. And I don't do a lot. Running attack, retreat. Uh, very cool spell, though. Looking forward to finding that spell. One day he drops it. Uh, okay, the, the physical attack, not too bad. Oof. The physical attack, not too bad. The fire damage, though, is brutal. Yo! <laughs> this guy! Oh. Okay, he heals and so do I. This is uh, very traumatic. Ha! You cannot pin me down. 
I really like that Ash of War, by the way. I've been playing around with it a lot. And it's overpowered. The amount of dodging you can do with this Ash of War, even when you miss the attack. It's OP as hell. Woo! And that combos. Nothing you can do about it, huh? Input reading. Woo! Get wrecked. My electricity's out. Here, you can catch one of these, bitch. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Get wrecked. All right. We'll see about that. I don't need to evade it. I can just tank it. Crusade Insignia. Check it out. It is a talisman. Race attack power after defeating an enemy. That sounds pretty great for PvP. Wonder how much do you raise that attack power? Do you raise it more than with the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia? I wonder. For now, though, let's just stick with what we got. Uh, I took out my Poise Talisman. Gave myself a little bit more damage on the backstab. Pretty damn cool. All right, that was pretty uh, educational. I'm glad that we went through it. Perhaps I, I need to make it a point to always carry some good buffs on me. Golden Val and uh, Electrification works really nicely. This fella took the, his, the last nap of his world, of his life. A butterfly landing on his head. Shriek of Sorrow. With arcane, occult, is an occult kind of Ash of War. Interesting, I probably will forget all about it. Alright, so we came in through there. Let's kill all these filthy apostates that do not worship the flame of chaos. Oh, you don't have the right, right? Press the message and then try door. There's no trying the door. You filthy jokester. These damn tricksters always fooling me into trying to... Oh, this is it? It's just a, a town square with a fight? We must go up this path, though. Disturb every grave as we do so. Very important to desecrate the remains of those we don't respect. Give me that point, uh, that piece of loot. Wow, arrows. <laughs> I'm so happy I went out of my way. All right, let me make sure that there's no way out here. Uh, and if there's not, we'll move on to the next spot. Next, I was going to go to the cave, but I'm far too curious to see what's after the theater of the Divine Beast. So let's go there first, see if it's just the end of the dungeon, or do you actually have to go, ah, something else that I discovered. And I can show you right now. Whoop! Look at me at using editing tools. Incredible! There's a little room where you find the key to the sewers. Let's go down to the sewers and see what happens down there. It took me some doing to <laughs> remember. Wow! <laughs> remember where the hell I'm supposed to go? Uh, I do have a few enemies in tow. Don't worry about it. It's just a, a complete non-issue. They're, they will stop disturbing me the moment that I hold on to this stair. Don't worry about it. Ow! <laughs> Wonder if they'll follow me down here. I doubt it. All right, let's find out what's beyond the sewer grate after I do a little bit of murder to these filthy sewer dwellers. He did descend the stairs. That's neat. So it's like they're not spirits, are they? They're just undead who got scorched. Because all this time I'll be operating like these guys are the, like, the spirits of the dead and stuff, just running around, haunting the place. But no, I think they're just scorched corpses that have been reanimated. Well, this is awful. I hate everything about this. Let me get myself some sweet buffs because uh, it looks like maybe some kind of swamp lizard is about to spawn from this horrible area. Of course, the strong amount of poison is building. There's a 0% chance there is not some kind of swamp monster in here. There's no freaking way. Okay? There's it, this. Look. Souls games, Elden Ring, they function a certain way. When you go into the open swamp area, 
some kind of gigantic super monster that poisons your entrails until your every organ rots is going to come out of the water surface and it's going to make your life miserable for a few lives. Look at this. This is just new bait right here. This is just a bait. Oh, it rumbles. Oh, wow. <laughs> An ulcerated tree spirit? What? A novelty. I am truly flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm fairly disappointed. <laughs> I mean, clearly... Oh, I didn't need to even heal. I thought for sure I'll be damaged. So I heal preemptively. How strong is this poison, I wonder? I mean, it is strong-ish. But not too strong. You're about to explode. Yep. <laughs> uh, I thought the DLC would not have ulcerated tree spirits. I'll be honest with, honest with you. It is... I mean, is it like a meme? <laughs> I wonder if... Miyazaki is like, we're putting these in. We're putting this in because... And we're going to turn it green because it's funny. It makes me giggle. The player base is going to think that they are going to be free from these creatures going into Mikola's promised land. No. You're going to get destroyed by ulcerated tree spirits no matter where you go. They are... Uh, Inescapable plague. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. Do I have flame cleanse me? I do. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, feels much better now. All right. That was fun, though. I'm glad that it wasn't a miserable kind of tree spirit where it you barely tickle it and you have to fight it 20 different times. It is... A type of enemy that I have been so exposed to that, you know, the, the move said, I'm not going to say it's never going to touch me, but it is pretty predictable at this point. So, you know, it's not a big deal to face them. They will be a big deal if their health were stupidly inflated and I had to, you know, do battle with it for 10 minutes straight. But as it stands right now, that ulcerary tree spirit was barely an obstacle. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything up here, though. I'm just wasting time. Let me continue traversing these lands, and I shall resume commentary when something interesting happens. I'm a little bit further down, and more enemies have been encountered. <laughs> appear to have suffered from an ambush. Filth. Nothing but filth. You know what? Here's where this frost stump is going to shine. You can charge it, but I ain't got no time to charge it. Very nice AoE, though. Very nice. Let me just punch you a little bit. There you go. Fill myself up with that blue juice. All right. Really happy with that uh, AOE. Uh, that's something that... Oh! <laughs> I got the big suck. Wow! Freaking gross, brother. Put it right down my throat. That was nasty. Didn't even get paid for it. Punch it real good. For some reason, using this one-handed. <laughs> it still works. It works just fine. Alright, carry on. What is going on here? These piles of filth. Hey, stop running. Frost! There's no second hit with that, huh? Holy crap. Don't suck me. You have no permission to suck me. Alright. Really works nicely. Wonder if it... Yeah! Rude. Wonder if it's worth it. I say, isn't it faster to just stab these creatures to death? Like so? It's a mystery. Especially... When you... Oh! I'm out of a stamina. That is bad. That is a, a bad circumstance to be in. Yeah, probably the frost stomp. It's just safer. You know, to kill them all. But this whole area does seem to be uh, quite a lot of quite a lot of places to ignore to ignore to uh, explore. Pretty damn 
infuriating how to deal with that poison all the time, though. All right. Nothing I can do there. No horse, right? Nah. It would have been far too much fun to bring out the horse. But we're inside one of them legacy dungeons. You're not gonna get horsed in this place. This disgusting fly people fill me with nothing but repulsion. All right, bud. Let me visit the frosty depths of my heart upon your persons. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Unfortunately, it does erase my electricity, but you don't really need it for these filthy creatures. Okay, nothing up there. I see one of them horn envoys kind of people right there. Certainly want to electrify and buff these guys are fairly hyperactive with the way they engage in battle. Hopefully I'll be able to rush them down. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. He has an incredible sneak attack. But it's okay because I can just go behind you and super stab you. Whoop. Get wrecked, son. Does you? Well, I already have one of those. <laughs> I farm one of those, and they drop. Like it is exactly the same, right? Yep. Look at that. They drop from the other dude, but this guy is a guaranteed drop. I wish I had known it because I kill like twenty of them <laughs> to get their weapons and their armor set, which I am wearing right now. Poison hand. Is that perhaps... What could that be? An amulet, I suppose. Okay, everybody's dead. This pleases me greatly. Can I get on top of this silly... Silly swamp church? I, see, I saw a piece of loot. What a challenge to get up there, though. Last charge of the health. How do you get up there? I could have sworn I saw a piece of loot. Am I uh, seeing things? I, I must be seeing things. I'm just dumb. All right, <laughs> never mind then. I think there's one more building, which is right there. And we probably are done with this whole area. I'll do one more lap in case I am missing something. But I think that this, that's enough. Of course it is infested. And uh, I have to actually respect them because, you know, I have no more healing. Aren't you just deadly? Aren't you just incredibly deadly? How about you eat my ass with some frenzy flame? Damn it, it wasn't enough. Stop regurgitating your lunch at me. This is absolutely disgusting. Smells like chipotle all over my clothes now freaking gross okay i'm done give me that flame cleanse me ah there's some ladder going up there let's go take it it's a tower with a door on it perhaps this will lead straight to one of those closed doors that i've seen indeed indeed I do remember seeing one that said it does not open from this side. So, beautiful loop. Very nice. I liked it. Let us move on to the next area. Like I said, I am extremely curious to see what's down this path after the boss. Much more curious than I am to explore the cave that I missed in the swamp. So that's what's going to happen right now. It does have the feeling of, hey, you're done with the area. Moving on to the next. Incredible double doors. Very intimidating. Let me uh, electrify these mole ninja utensils. And uh, we'll see maybe what lies behind. Hopefully it's not just completing a loop going back to the start. But it's a completely new area that we are about to obliterate. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Give me these ashes. At some point they will come in handy. I don't discount and in fact I expect my life to become so traumatic i must i must go this way uh my life to become so traumatic okay there's absolutely nothing 
that I need to resort to those spirit ashes. We will summon a variety of them. I have quite a few that are high level. I like at least Therolina. I like her just to get me heals and, uh, and distract the boss here and there. What is your dealio? Anyway, let's take a look. I uh, have been completely neglecting. Taking a good look. Just covering terrible briar. Oh, Tower of Hours, hidden in shadow. Oh, lofty spirals, piercing through something, something. Lead him safely unto greater godhood. And in divinity, grant our salvation. You've been lied to, buddy. You've been lied to. It's all silly lies and nonsense. It was just another demigod seeking more power for themselves. Seek light. What you got for me? Tower of Shadow message. Tower of Shadow. Oh, I also got uh, a hand. I want to see what it is. Poison hand. Fist. Poison spear hand strike. Poison buildup. Scales with strength and arcane. A glove stitched together from the flayed skin of the victims of a butcherous bloodbath. A flicked target with deadly poison raises attack power when poisoning occurs in the vicinity. Forged of an unyielding black impulse towards revenge fostered in those who have had everything burned and stolen from them. These are the weapons for of the utterly downtrodden. Interesting. It's a weapon. Is it a fist weapon? It's like a pata, huh? Uh, and it's that cane, so I won't be able to use the Ash of War with my... My guess. Let's put it on. Punch. 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 Dual wield. Punch, 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 punch. It's a fist weapon. All right. <laughs> it's a fist weapon that does poison damage. Somebody tell me, I guess the Ash of War is incredible or something. No, it's just... Uh, let, me, let me steal your soul type of attack. Why would I use this over the actual poison damage... Fist weapon. I have no idea, but uh, let's throw it in the garbage. Never look at it again, okay? Uh, let me put the, those on again, and we'll carry on. I assume that you can open this door. Sealed. Ah. Sealed and obscured by shadow. Clearly, we'll be back once we cleanse the filth, disgusting corruption of this tower. Worry not, for my all-consuming flame shall bring light to this land. Let's go back down there. I think we have explored the entirety of that area. wonder if the NPCs have something to say about this. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? I paid $40. Well, I'm much obliged. As suspected, kindly Mikola has visited the lands which hold the tower, and appears intent on wholly dispossessing himself of his flesh. He must be seeking entrance to the Tower of Shadow. He's pulling a Rani. Mikela is, uh, he's shedding his Empyrean flesh to become something else, something beyond. Righteous tarnished. Okay, I have told him of... The cross, we found his left arm. Welcome. Do you have new you come loot? To enjoy the I like I well, he likes me now. I hope that we can get naked soon. Alright. Goodbye. That was uh, cool. That was neat. Let's see the other people. They have absolutely nothing new to say, but you know who had something to say? The comments. Saying, you know what? Killing this guy is actually not that hard. You should try again. Let's do it. I am full of confidence that this thing shall fall to my incredible might i'm going to make sure that i am fully protected though flame protect me and then oops god so now stop it golden val let's once more engage all right surely i will not be destroyed by this creature again wonder if electricity is a uh, good use to, <laughs> to use straight to the face poor torrent just ate that one wow Wow. All right. Attack. Oh, 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 the damage is not bad. I can tank that. 
we have invested a little bit more on the chunks of Mikola. Did he really? Oh, he got stunned. I see. He just has some super ass low poise. He got stunned again. He can just uh, obliterate this creature. Oh, jump! Nope, <laughs> there's no jumping. That you had to get the hell away from that. All right, all right. But that is interesting. It's about to try to stomp me. No. I don't know, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, that's the jump, right? Just flee from it. Oh, wow. I think you can jump the fire. The explosion doesn't reach. But the fire uh, reaches further. Continue using those attacks. Yeah, it just gets that. Is it going down? It is going down. But I have no access to the front. Come on, you can do it, butthole. Stab. Oh, straight in the eyeball, bitch. Ooh, okay, well, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot for letting me know in the comments that, hey, uh, it looks really intimidating. Absolutely destroyed you the first time around. Oh, didn't realize that he, he had a fire coming out of his ass. Um, destroyed you the first time around. Just try again, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Because clearly we can eliminate this creature. Which also kind of tells me that the reward is probably not going to be amazing. Let's attack the other the other leg. Is that the explosion? Yeah. Okay, run away. Jump! Oh, that was clean! That was beautiful! <laughs> I really like that. I don't know what's happening right now. Just keep attacking. Nothing bad will happen to me. Ow. I think my fire protection is out. I think you can totally jump that one. That is so badass. I love that. <laughs> Need to internalize how many attacks. Like, if it travels through the ground, you can jump it and you will take zero damage from it. Don't stop. Eat my anus with delicious tater tots. Well, <laughs> I jumped a little too early. <laughs> jumped a little too early, but this is going quite well. You're down, but you know what? I'm just going to keep attacking until your health is no more. And coup de gras destroyed. Butthole prevails once again. What you have? The flicketing heart tear. And a furnace visage, which we had already found. Yeah, it's the third that I found. It's a very rare crafting item I see. Enhances a spontaneous guard, a mixed physique. What is spontaneous guard? A crystal tear, or tear, formed slowly over the ages, where the scattered sap of the scadu tree pools deep within the furnace golems. Can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physique. The resulting concoction temporarily enhances... Spontaneous guard, please describe. Damage negation and guard poise will be heightened in the moment immediately after assuming a guarding stance. Successfully executing a spontaneous guard will also strengthen guard counters. It is a parry mechanic that is not a parry. Basically, if you guard exactly when the attack happens, you guard much better. That is my understanding of it. Probably will play some kind of big role against a boss fight if I have the presence of mind to get it done but probably I'll just not indulge it until I am 100% desperate to <laughs> try something new because whatever I'm doing is not working let's go finally to that swampy little cave that your father found somehow I just never saw this dark hole going into the depths of the earth let us go down there and see what we can do hopefully there will be a never-ending tale of slaughter Give me that electric weaponry i assume there's going to be a side of grace down here there has to be balurat belurat jail all right there's going to be a lot of nasty stuff going on down here i'm sure it's truly horrifying torture 
Just don't give me the crap in, from Dark Souls 3 of the people that lower your max HP. That will be horrendous. We've been murdering a lot of creatures. Let us spend our runes on levels. I said I wanted 60 vigor. I still do. So let's put those points in vigor. And once I get those 60 vigor, probably we'll just put up to 80 faith. And I'll be happy with what I got going. Such a change of scenery. Holy crap. I can't wait to explore this land in the next episode.